I am Sundar Jagannath. I am Professor of Medicine at St. Vincent's Comprehensive Cancer Center, New York. I am here at ASH meeting in Orlando. We had just presented our long-term results of frontline therapy with bortezomib and dexamethasone. It's a pleasure for me to share the long-term results of a frontline study here for you all. This study was conducted at several institutions across the United States in New York, Florida, as well as in California. This study was the first one to test bortezomib or Velcade alone and with dexamethasone in newly diagnosed myeloma. Velcade alone was given for the first two cycles. If the patient did not achieve a partial remission, then dexamethasone was added from cycle three onward for a total of six cycles. The primary objective of this trial was to look at response. 49 patients were treated on this trial. Their age ranged from 40 years to 84 years. After the first two cycles of Velcade, half the patients were in partial remission and 12% of the patients were in complete or very good partial remission, showing that bortezomib is very active in newly diagnosed myeloma patient by itself. But by study design, we added dexamethasone, and at the end of six cycles, almost 90% of the patients were in partial response, and almost 40% of the patients were in complete or very good partial response. This is a benchmark result achieved by a novel agent combined with dexamethasone. There was no treatment-related death. There was no blood clots in the legs or DVT or blood clots in the lungs called pulmonary embolism. The major side effects with bortezomib is peripheral neuropathy, which was seen in about a third of the patients, but painful neuropathy was encountered in six patients or 12%. And this was reversible once the drug was discontinued. The survival outcome of all 49 patients on the study was excellent. Over 90% of the patients were alive at one year and 85% of the patients were alive at two years. This was the reason for this result to be presented in ASH today for follow-up. Even though the study was to look at the response alone, we wanted to look at the long-term outcome of these patients. For the 25 patients who underwent transplantation, 91% of the patients were alive at two years. And of those 24 patients who did not undergo a transplantation, either because of age or choice of other reasons, 81% of the patients were alive at two years. Thus, use of bortezomib along with the dexamethasone up front increases the complete response rate and very good partial response rate and the life expectancy of patient. The fact that we improve the complete response and very good partial response, it ultimately leads to better quality of life and life expectancy has been the major theme emerging out of this ASH meeting. It was reported by people who do high-dose chemotherapy and stem cell transplant, and it has also been reported by Bob Kyle this year in cancer that even with standard treatments such as VBMCP or M2 protocol, patient, patients who achieved complete response had a longer survival and better quality of life. Thank you.